Welcome, everyone. It's so cool to be at this point when I do that, that everybody salutes back. It's just, it's nice to see so many of you here today. Well, we've got a lot going on. Um, last week, we embarked on uh, left brush knee, which is the beginning of a whole new sequence, and enjoyed that. We're happy to review that this week. And then we're going to be doing right brush knee, and we're going to be doing going from left to right to left to right brush knee. And as you'll see, there is uh, there's a longer sequence, and there's even another move stuck into that sequence. But what I want to do today is help you master this new move of last week on both sides of your body and start to master moving forward. So far, a lot of our movements have been turns to, you know, to the left or to the right or, um, you know, these kinds of body movements that are usually one step and we've been shifting our weight. That's been an important beginning for us, but now we're kind of ready to move out. And in this brush knee sequence, when you do the whole thing, you actually cover some territory. Uh, luckily in one direction. <laughs> so, so there's a lot to, there's a lot to do. And I think you'll enjoy it because this is how we move. This is how we move forward. So um, uh, it's exciting. You'll see that there has been a return of my, uh, my Tai Chi pole, which was gone for a while. I felt that you folks had mastered that. But our Tai Chi pole is going to be moving around a good bit today. And I just uh, wanted to be able to find it and see it because we're going to be doing some standing in the corner and moving our bodies into the corner and needing to get our balance before we turn. So that's part of our agenda for today. Any questions anyone has before we start? All right. Welcome. Welcome, Ronald. Nice to see you here. So um, let's practice what we know so far. And then I'll take questions on anything, and uh, then we'll start our review and our work for today. Sound good? All right. We're going to have a little less description of the early moves, because I think those are getting more familiar to us. But since we're just kind of using this as a warm up as well, I want you to really ground your feet. Remember that at any moment you could sit in a chair and the very top of you feels very light and extended from the center of your abdomen up. And the bottom half of you feels very heavy from the center of your abdomen down, your spine very erect, your knees soft, and your body suspended, just hanging from that extended frame. And let's add our spirit in today, a calm, energetic spirit rising up. This is prepare. Opening. Oh, that little extension on our back, the arms rotating and rising up, just floating to shoulder height. Elbows, forearms, hands pushing down till it wouldn't be a push anymore. Left ward off, little shift left. Turning out, swinging out right, sitting on the right, close step, and left ward off, big macaw. Right ward off, bend that right knee, shifting a little and turning to the right 45 degrees all the way back to the left, close step. Small bird this time, pet its tail. Roll back, both arms rotating, pushing out to the right corner with your right arm. Arms together, swing, shift back all the way to the other corner. Continue the circle for press. And expanding out 
with power as you shift forward. Turning a little to the right, our arms open square to the side of the room, pulling back as we shift back and over that garage door, up the diagonal for push. Single whip, shifting back, hands flatten, grabbing, turn, throw them to the corner. Continue the circle, shifting back. Make a hook. Windshield wiper that left arm. Deflect and strike. We'll shift back. We're going to turn to the right. Everything's just going to stay where it was. All our weight left. Swimming now, release that hook. Coming in, going out, heel touch. Rock onto that heel, 30%. White crane, arms rotate counterclockwise. Pull down because you're shifting back. Circle those arms and step with that right foot to the corner. Shift your weight. Foot in, right arm up. Left foot, left arm down, 30%. Empty step with the ball. Here's the new move. Left brush knee and push. Drop that right elbow, rotate your arm and look at your palm or over it. Other arm coming up, one up, one down, and turn, swing, step. We're going to polish the table, bring that right arm to our shoulder, bend that left knee, and strike. I see some brush knees. Let's do all that again. again. To warm up a little faster this time prepare we're grounded suspended and extended spirit rising up with our head rooted opening rotating floating and pushing that ball into the water, feel very grounded and extended still. Left ward off, shifting left, turning out and swinging to the right, all our weight to the right, sit, close step, left ward off, big macaw. Right ward off, shifting, turning. All our weight to the left, grab, pull. Close step. Small bird, pet its tail too. Roll back to the right corner. Hold on, shift back, swing to the left corner. Continue the circle for press from in to out, expand. Push, square, shift back over the ball, up the diagonal, stop yourself. Single whip. Shifting back, hands flatten. Turn, throw someone to the corner, arms circle, push down as you shift back. Turn, look at that hook as you make it. Windshield wiper, step. Heel, ball toe, deflect, bend knee, strike. 
Raise hands and step forward, shift right, turn right. Release your hook, all your weight left. Swimming in, foot out, and raise hands. White crane, rotate those arms, pull as you shift back. Close step. Shift over, one arm up, one arm down, ball touch, arms opening. Left brush knee and push, drop that elbow. Look at your hand, you're coming back, stand on that right leg. We're gonna turn now, swing, step, out for a bow step, heel, ball, toe. Bend knee, torso, square strike. All right. So I have some questions for you, if you can come where I can see you, if you, those of you who are in camera range, wonderful. And if you wanna unmute, feel free to, unless your space is really uh, noisy. Uh, I'd be uh, happy to take any questions uh, about anything so far, if you have them, or we'll go, we can go right into our review of brush knee. Any, any questions we wanna do? That's good, all right. So um, let's go, let me ask another question. About the moves we've done to date, the first, the grasp the bird's tail, on a scale of sort of one to five, which is how comfortable am I when I'm doing this move that I'll make it through and I'm kind of getting there with it, okay? That would be a five, right? Or maybe a five is, oh my gosh, that was better than I've ever done it, right? It's all relative to you. It's not relative to some standard somewhere, right? It's all relative to you. And, and the one is, oh, gone completely gone, like, you mean what move, right? Like, have we ever done a move like that? Right, that's the one, and the other is the five. So, so where are we on grasp the bird's tail, those first few moves uh, before? Okay, I'm seeing a three, I'm seeing a five, I'm seeing a four, I'm seeing a four. Okay, that's really helpful. So we've been doing that the longest, it makes sense, but Congratulations, that's really an accomplishment. Then there's the next three moves, single whip and uh, raise hands and white crane. So how are we doing on those? We haven't been doing them for as long. So I've got a, a three, I think, and a four and a four and a three. Good, all right, this is a lot of progress. So we're starting a new set of moves and uh, which is this, uh, brush knee sequence. And, um, and so it's good to know that you feel pretty familiar with those other moves, even though uh, they're not fully under your belts yet. So great, great to get that feedback. Thank you very much. So uh, how are we feeling about this new move? Any, any comments? Any particular parts of it that are hard for us? I just have a little trouble, I think, going from one move to the other, sometimes with the footwork in particular. Got it. Okay, so when we when we come back to all of the moves that we've done so far, we'll, I'll emphasize the footwork when we when we do them at the end. And that should, I, I think, help. If you if you think of a particular one here or there and say, oh, it's that one, you know, <laughs> and that'll that'll help me know for sure. Uh, with the whole thing. Well, let's go into a review then of uh, some of what we did last week. Was there anyone who hasn't seen these moves before who was not here last week or did not see the video? Is this anyone for whom um, brush knee is a completely new move? Okay, I'm not seeing if that's true. Okay, so let's just go through a, a review of what we did last week because everything that we're reviewing is gonna be needed for, for our new move. 
So let's just re review a little bit of the arms and maybe we'll go ahead and extend the arms at the same time. We'll see how we, how we feel about this. So remember, one of the things we did was we talked about our body shape and we're gonna always try to keep our body shape. And these elbows, they're really interesting, aren't they? They're just kind of always in the same place. We do all of these things, we do all these things with them, but those elbows pretty much stay in the same place, right? And we, we played last week a little bit and the week before when we were doing white crane because we needed to do this, remember that? We were swinging that arm around that elbow, right? And this is actually, and we talked about how it's not, it's not like this, right? It's at the elbow that you're swinging. And we're swinging up and kind of making this push at the end. This push at the end. I'm gonna take this off because you're probably gonna to wanna to mirror me. Okay, so it's, it's like this, right? Just whoop, like you were a puppet. Now they dropped your puppet strings. <laughs> right? <laughs> and then get them swinging and then maybe you can swing them up right? I mean, honestly, that's really all it is. You will do this naturally if you just relax. It's hard. It's, it's hard for some of us to do that, but it's true. If you can just relax your shoulders, not everybody has uh, joints that want to relax either. So just keep your head up and your body straight. That's good. Yeah, looks good. Looks really good. All right, and, uh, um, and remember, it's not here, it's, it's here. These stay, the, this goes like this, but you're right that your hands push out at the end. We're always making this circle, right? So when we're up, we're almost always in a circle like this. It, we don't do this, right? We're almost always like, like this somehow, some, some sort of circle up. So you see a circle. And when we're down, we're almost always, you know, circling down. That's the way, that's the way Tai Chi works. So here we are, we come down and then we go up, right? Nice, lovely, lovely, yeah. So that's, that's what we're doing. And one of the things we pointed out last week is that when we swing an arm, swing an arm out, and you could also think, think you're not you're not flipping somebody off or something you're not like go away go away you're not doing that it's your whole arm swinging but when you're swinging that arm um it, it comes up that same way and it can look if we if i turn my body now this i'm going to tell you truthfully this is the same swing I'm doing the same swing. I've just turned my body to the corner. And now look, it looks like I swung it back, doesn't it? But because my shoulders turned, I didn't really swing it back. I swung it the same way to the side. So we always keep this circle, this circle. It might be bigger. In this case, it's bigger, a bigger circle, right? It's a bigger circle but we keep a circle that comes in around here. We never end up like this, right? We've got this circle, this, this circle coming in here and around here. It's not, it's not going flat. There's always a tree, okay? So when we're doing this, there's always a tree. So if we, circle and turn and look at our hand, which we're doing in this move, turn, we might as well do it on both sides. So let's do it on the other side. Turn, turn, turn and make the turn just like you've made some of your other Tai Chi moves come from here. You're flinging that arm out, but the power's coming from your turn. See if you can coordinate that. Do your other arm now. Have your arm up here. Kind of look at your palm. Interesting, right? Because we're going to be looking at our palm. And now turn. 
and fling it out and then come back and turn and fling it out. It's a natural, nice, it's a natural move. That's what we're doing in this move. When, we, when we've been with a, with a hand over our head, so I'm mirroring you now, when we've been with a hand over our head and we drop that elbow and that hand comes where we could actually look at it, we don't, we kind of look over it, but you know, if for a moment it's right in front of us, right? And then we turn and we just do that. We fling the arm back, right? And we keep this circle. And then it comes in. So let's actually swing in, swing in, swing in. Do you see how? Yeah, swing in. So we can do it either side, swing in. We'll do that again. Swing in. You're doing that with a turn. Turn. And it just keeps them flying up. You don't have to turn back. Yeah, you don't have to turn back. In. Let's do it the other side, just for now. And we'll turn this way. I'm going to swing in. Swing in. Right. Nice. Swing in. Right. So, this is a move that we do in this one. We swing, we do it in slow motion, and then it comes back up to our shoulder. And then as we turn back, we shoot it out. So let's try putting those together. We're gonna swing to the shoulder, shoot out. Nice. And on the other side, we're going to swing to the shoulder, all the way to the shoulder. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's still a little in front of it. Like you've got, you've got, you know, your, your bra strap or you've got your suspender. And then turn and shoot that arm out. Nice. Let's do that again. Just let it drop. Swing as you turn, look at your hand, keep looking at over your hand as it comes in, and then turn your body square as it goes out. Nice. Other side, swing up, out. <coughs> Try the other side. Swing. Up, out, okay? And the out is when you turn, okay? The turns, turn swing, little turn maybe back, but not much, and then turn out. Nice, turn out, turn out, turn out. You're kind of throwing that hand. Remember we talked about throwing last week? Let's throw for a second. You know, I'm gonna throw. Just remember that, throw. And we notice that our upper bodies turn when we throw. And that our weight shifts back as we, as we wind up. It's still a lot of it's back, but we've got a foot forward usually, and then we release and turn. That's the way most people throw if they've got to get power. Nice. Great, Caleb. I like that. Good job. Good throw. So that's what we're doing here. We talked about last week how we're throwing throwing that punch. I want to add a couple more things to this ar these arms really quick. Okay, so, so what happens if we, um, if we, if we're going to do two more. We're going to go like this. That's going to be your new side, right? So let's do it on the familiar side if you're mirroring me, okay? 
This is your familiar side so far. And we come out like this. So let's imagine we're done. And let's see how we can do one of these after the other. So push down with your other hand. Push down with your other hand. Nice. So what's going to happen in this move is your arm's just going to raise halfway. That's step one. So one arm is out and one arm is down, and that arm that's down is going to raise halfway. Okay? And then it's going to rotate and turn in, palm in, and it's going to be one of these things, right? <laughs> it's going to be, yeah, right. You're all in the right position. We've done this so much now, right? Then what's going to happen? This upper arm is going to push down. And when it does, I want you to all imagine a connection between the two, like you had a piston between this one and this one. You're actually going to be standing on one foot at this point. It's going to be really helpful, right? And then you're going to turn, but we're not going to worry about that right now. Then you're going to push down and kind of turn and throw that arm. Right, and you've been here before, right? Polish the table. We did this before. Bring our arm in. And then turn. Right, there we go. Now, what happens now? One arm is down, one arm is striking. What happens? The pushing arm rises halfway, and then it rotates to, you know, point the fingers towards where, the middle forearm, and you're right centered. You're right centered with those arms right in front of you, right in front of your nose. No, it's not air guitar. No, no, it's not, because right, they're right in front of you. <laughs> and then you push down, you push down, and turn, turn. Nice. So one arm pushing out, one arm with the fingers pointing. Yes. Then what happens? Polish the table with the inside arm and bring the other arm in. Just for a minute, let's remember that. They move together, right? Hmm, there we go. Yeah, get a feeling of the two moving together. Really reaching out. I love the reach. Yes, nice. Then we're, we're all like coiled up. So uncoil now. There you are. And up halfway. Rotate those hand, that hand, arm. Top hand, strike hand is going to come over, over across your chest, across your chest. And when it does, the other hand's going to swing. The two are together and you're turning. Polish the table. Bring your swinging arm in. Nice. Now turn. Turn. One is, comes in, one goes out. Nice. Up. Rotate in. Turn out, swing, polish the table, and turn, strike, and up, and rotate, and turn, push down, swing, polish the table, and turn, strike and up, and rotate, push down with that top hand, and swing, polish the table, and turn back, and up, and rotate, and swing, polish the table, and strike. Perfect.
All right, it'll take a while to really get it because now we're going to like go into the feet, right? <laughs> oh my, oh my, let's get that. Definitely need a break, right? Okay, so I'm going to mirror you and we're going to, When you start, let me just make sure this, yes, this is right. When you start, your left foot is off to the corner. I'm sorry, your right foot is off to the corner. That was just mine. So you're mirroring me still. Your right foot is off to the corner and your left foot is in this uh, empty one line, two sides. Here, let me actually get a line there. One line, two sides. Your Tai Chi pole is centered. You're on the ball of your foot, right? Empty stance, nice open and alignment, right? And you've got uh, you've got one arm up and one arm down. Whoops, I've got it wrong. This way. This is right. This is right. Yeah. Here we go. Okay, your right arm is up. So you can just sort of remember your arms just for your 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 uh, right arm just for a moment you drop it and you come back remember and you swing turn swing step remember last week we talked about the hokey pokey that was that hokey pokey move swing step remember that now we can get rid of our arm and let's just look at the footwork we're going to heel, ball, toe. That's the polish the table part. We'll come back to that. And then bend knee, turn our torso square. Right? Now here's the new part of this move. We're going to move our way back into the heel. We've done that a good bit already, right? So you know how to do that. Push back, move it into your forward heel. Pivot on that forward heel out to 45 degrees. Nice. Push with the back foot and go stand in the corner. Move your Tai Chi pole and stand very erect in the corner. Now what you're going to do here is you're going to have a hand over here. And it's going to do just one of those hokey pokey swing set moves, right? So get a hand up here for now. And, and just... Turn on that Tai Chi pole, swing, step. You can get rid of the hand now. And you're going to heel, ball, toe. Your Tai Chi pole is going to come back to the middle. And then you're going to turn, bend your front knee, and straighten your back knee. Nice. Now you're probably going to have to move back a little because guess what? You're going to do another one. So move back as, where, as far as you can. We'll just do, do a, a, a couple of these. Then we're going to come move the weight back into the heel of the forward foot and pivot out. When you do, your Tai Chi pole stays where it is. You're just doing a, a knee bump here. You know, you're just turning out that thigh bone. Make sure the thigh, the knees over the toes. Now push with that back foot, move your Tai Chi pole, and stand in this corner right here, okay? Just stand there. You can put your foot down if you need to or not. Now, you'll have a hand over here. That's going to be your swinging hand. Swing, step. You turn and look at it. You turn on that Tai Chi pole. That swing helps you step. Nice. Then you can drop your hand for now. Gonna root with that forward foot. Heel, ball, toe. Bend knee, turn. Tai Chi pole right in the center between the two feet. And back to the heel. Out. Push with that back foot. Stand in the corner. And swing. Step, out for that bow step. 
We'll be polishing the table, heel, ball, toe, and then turning, straightening the back leg and bending the forward leg. This is the footwork. Is this crazy? Yeah, kinda, right? All right, let's do it again. So we're here, your right foot is out. Your left foot is one line, two sides on the ball. You've got your right hand up. Turning on your Tai Chi pole, you swing and step. Forget about the hands for the moment. Rooting, heel, ball, toe, bend, knee, turn. And push back, forward foot, turns out, push forward, stand in the corner, swing, step, root, Heel, ball, toe, your Tai Chi pole comes to center, and bend knee, turn. Nice. And shift back into the heel. Open this quad area, open that thigh bone, that hip, out to the corner. Push with the back foot. Go stand in the corner, thinking about literally standing in the corner. Your Tai Chi pole moves completely over. Now, turn, swing, step, root, heel, ball, toe, turn, bend knee. Nice. Okay, good. Let's put it all together. We can do this. <laughs> Even I, I hope, will be able to do it backwards. So this is where you are starting, all right? We are still mirrored, okay? Nice. Right hands over the head. And you're gonna, as you shift back, you're gonna drop that high arm and bring the other up. Then you're gonna turn as this starts to, your rising hand starts to push down. You're gonna turn, swing, step. It's like a, a selfie moment. Then polish the table with this inside arm. As you heel, ball, toe, and come forward. But you haven't come very far forward, just enough to get your heel, ball, toe. Now, turn, strike. Nice. And come, bring that weight back into your forward heel as your arm rises. Good. Turn out that left leg. Arm pointing to the center forearm. Okay, shift, stand in the corner. One, arm, one hand is in front of the other, everything is lined up. Swing, step, polish the table as you come forward and strike, bend knee, turn. Nice. If you need to adjust your spot, adjust your spot or not, then arm rises. It turns in as your foot turns out. As your striking hand comes over and you push with the back foot, you stand in the corner, turn right and swing, step. Polish the table. At this point, as you're polishing the table, your gaze is following your polishing hand. And turn, strike, push down. Nice. 
we're going to do this in the correct direction now. Any questions before we do? No. Are we doing okay? I'm hoping it's going to get easier in a second. We're going to give it a, a try here. All right, so I'm going to come way back here so that we have some room. So here we are, our right foot out to the corner. We are not mirrored anymore. My striped arm is my right arm. Here we are in that empty step. Shifting our weight back. Look at your hand, right arm falling, left arm rising. Everything lines up and swing, turn, step. As we're moving forward, polish the table, gaze forward and turn our upper body, strike, bend knee. Next, pushing back with the right foot, bending the back a little bit, that hand rises and are you ready to pivot on your left heel? Pivot on your left heel and your left arm points to your right arm center. This is selfie moment number two. Push with your right back foot. Stand in the corner, one hand over the other. Now push down with one hand Swing with the other as you turn. Look at that back hand and you have stepped. That's the next click. We're gonna polish the table with our right hand. As we do, we're moving forward just enough to heel ball toe. Left hand at our shoulder. Bend that right knee, straighten the back turn our torso, strike and push down. Ready for another? Shifting back, right arm rises. Ready to pivot? Pivot the right foot. Here's a moment. Stand in the corner, push with that back foot. Go stand in the corner and swing, step. Heel, ball, toe, polish the table. Are you ready to strike? Bend knee, turn. Adjust your position as we, if we need more room because we're going to keep practicing this. Get yourself some room. Your left foot is forward. Your left hand is pushing down. Your right hand is striking. You are in both steps. Shifting back enough to get that weight into your heel. Left hand rises and out. Stand in the corner. Swing, step. Polish the table and strike the knee. And one more up and we're, step, you're, we're going out to the corner, stand in the corner, swing, step left, polish the table. Did you bring your right arm in and strike? Now we're going to do this in the other direction. Why? because you've had to look over your shoulder half the time and it's like, it's so hard to do it when I can't see what, see the screen easily. So now we're gonna swap the side that's hard to see. Okay, so let's do that. So here we are, our left foot, I mean our right foot out to the corner. Our right foot out to the corner in a, our left ball, one line, two sides. 
Good empty stance. Drop that right, right arm, left arm rising. Swing step. Polish the table and strike. This is the one you were, you're more practiced with. Here's the one that's gonna feel harder. We're gonna come back up and turning out left. Our gaze is still straight in front of us. Now, our gaze gradually moves to the corner because we're standing in the corner. Swing, step. Polish the table, heel, ball, toe, bend knee. Strike. We turned our torso. Coming up. Out. Stand in the corner. Left hand, like almost like you had a ball right here. Push that ball down, swing, step. Polish the table and strike. So for most folks, the hardest part of this is not losing their balance in that corner. Anyone having that issue? Or are you kind of doing okay? What's, what's hard? Or is it just all of it because it's so much? It's, it's, it's all of it for me right now. I, I, I get lost. <laughs> yeah. You should get lost. And I just want to say, you know, we're going to be doing this for, for three weeks. We will add another move next week, but it's a simpler move. <laughs> so we're going to get lots of practice on this. So don't have, have no fear. You know what we're going to do now, though? You won't be able to see the detail as well, but I'm gonna be in front of you. So the footwork is gonna be clearer. And I think you've got the hands down. So let's give that a try. So to get into white crane, your right foot is towards this corner. One line, two sides, right arm overhead in this nice, keeping our shoulders down circle and 30% on the front foot kind of and you know 70% on the back the two the the whole back foot's on the ground only the ball of the foot is really pressing in the front it's like for support this is white crane left brush knee and push going to be pushing back with that right ball, we're gonna, we right arm down, left arm up, stand in the corner, swing step, polish the table, right arm to the shoulder and bend the knee and strike, turn torso. Then that left foot, arm rising, we're gonna pivot on that left foot. Left arm comes, it bends in, and then go stand in that corner. Turn, swing step, polish the table, and bend knee, turn torso. And up and turn out left hand coming over ready to push stand in the corner swing step polish the table right arm in at the shoulder and bend knee strike turn isn't it nice for once to not have to look over your shoulder <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. One more time in that direction. We're going to get some practice here. Ready. Right foot to the corner, left foot, uh, one line, two sides, ball touch, empty step, right arm up, left arm pushing down. Here we go into brush knee, elbow dropping, 
You could look at your palm, other hand coming up. You're in the corner, swing, step, polish the table, and bend knee, strike. Coming up and turning out left, but we're still looking forward. Go stand in that left corner. Be ready to push down with that top hand and swing that left hand out. You stepped and polished the table, heel ball toe and strike the knee. And coming up, turning out that right arm rotates. We're gonna go stand on that right foot, left arm on top, it pushes down, swing, step, Polish the table, heel, ball, toe, and strike. Bend that left knee. All right. <laughs> On a scale of one to five for that sequence. <laughs> I have a one. I have a no. I have a two. <laughs> oh, come on, Nina, can you give me something? <laughs> nope. I think Nina's at a zero. <laughs> or she's just not admitting. There you go. And Ronald has, is like keeping his thing way up here, so I can't see what he's got. So, um, Caleb, I didn't hear from you where you are on this. But you can, you can register on a scale of one to a two. Okay. Ah. Oh, and, 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 and Ronald kind of has been introduced this before. He's at a three. So, um, so anyway, that's where you should be. Where you are is exactly where you should be right now. This is complicated. This is why we're taking, we're doing it like this. Plus, everybody has a natural, when in doubt, think that you're throwing because that is what this is, remember? That's what this is. We're throwing. So if, if, and some of us throw better on one side than another. So if one side feels not so good, that's what this is. We have a little time left. I think we should do everything we have done. And, and, and uh, to, to, to address at least a little bit Dorothy's request, I'll concentrate on some of the footwork changes, okay? All right, let's just enjoy what we can. Don't worry about getting it right. Just get it close enough to right. So prepare, feel comfortable and grounded. Opening, we're gonna let those arms just float up effortlessly and then push a ball down. Let's go get that big macaw. Shift a little left on our heel. We're gonna turn out to the right. All of our weight on that right foot. We're sitting. Left foot for a bow step as our arms close. Big macaw is perched on that left arm. We've got its tail. Right ward off, shifting right, just turning, pivoting on that left heel. And all of our weight moves onto that left leg, so much so that we can pick up the right leg and then in and out so that we can bring a small bird up as we shift forward. Roll back. Yeah, we're just hanging here, rotating and swinging. Now we're shifting back as we swing. Continuing the circle and staying back and then shifting forward. Push, staying forward. We just turn square, shifting back. Make sure that left knee stays over where your left toe is. Up the diagonal as you shift forward. 
Single whip. Shifting back, your hands flatten. Then the left arm grabs, the right arm turns a little and oh my goodness, you're pivoting on your right heel as you throw them in the corner. And as you bend that right knee, your weight comes back onto that right foot. When it's all the way back, just about, you can pivot. It's okay if you pivot sooner. Right here, as you start to ward off that right hand, you're kind of in another one of those stand in the corner situations. Then you step and deflect and heel ball toe and deflect, sorry, and bend knee. Shifting right, turning right for raise hands. Same kind of turn as we did before. All of our weight back on the left and that right foot comes in heel pad touch rotating our arms pulling back there's no weight on the right foot that right foot's going to pick up set down in the same place but now it's turned to the corner and we shift our weight Right arm up, that left foot just comes to center and then out and heel touch. Drop that right elbow, you're shifting back. Turn, swing, step out. Polish the table for left brush knee and strike. I'm going to move back. You may have to, too. We're going to do two more. Shifting back. Turning out left with that foot. Stand in the left corner. Swing your right foot. Step, sorry. <laughs> Polish the table and strike. Let's try this again. And coming back, right arm rises, right arm in as right leg goes out. Stand in the right corner, left arm up, right arm down, swing, step with the left foot, polish the table, arm to shoulder, and strike, bend knee, your torso's turning to power it. Well, you look pretty good when I finish. <laughs> oh, good, I got two thumbs up. Good, well done, well done. It's nice to see a two thumbs up. So again, we'll be doing more of this next week. Uh, any final questions before we close? Let's just do one dragging of our fingers through the sand. Put them out there, get whatever kind of sand you want. Enjoy it and let it and yourself relax. Nice. <laughs>